Polar nonpolar acid base. Huh? Nonpolar, yeah. CH3 group, just a methyl group, that's hydrocarbon, nonpolar. I'm pretty sure that was bailing. Polar nonpolar basic acid. Non-polar again. Yeah. Two OH, so what kind of intermolecular interaction? H bond. H bond. H bond, so that's polar and polar. Polar, how about this? I'm going to say that. Uh, you said polar again? Well, it is polar, but there's a more specific answer. That is Yep, that was a big. And then, last but not least, I'm not sure if there is one of those, but. That's a new What do you call it? Basic. Because it's more Right. Then, uh, we talked about the glycosidic bond. Remember the pi and how these guys change. Okay, so this is roughly at uh, pH uh, equal to 7. Okay. Um, as we go, uh, okay, so uh, up and down the pH, so if we go up pH and down pH, uh, how is that going to affect the overall charge on this structure? So as we add acid, going this way, uh, this guy is going to become more or less positive charge. It's going to be uh, less positive charge. Right. Right. Acid, it's going to be more positive. Okay. So, um, going this way, yeah. uh, as we go up in pH, we have, we have less acid, we're going to go negative or positive. Don't get don't get con confused. Um, that you're talking about the concentration of hydronium. Okay. So you're talking about the the na uh, that's a big small number, small small number thing. Um, oh, I get it. Going down the pH is going to be more positive because it's going to be more basic. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yep, yep, you got it. Um, or more negative because remember you're taking away more and more protons as you go this way. Right. And this is the first time you're going to take away. So, right. more you go on this side, the more. Yeah. That makes sense, then. I got it. Um, so, very important. I mean, I, I want you guys to know that. Um, then, what did we talk about? We did um, peptides. And um, uh, then the main thing was primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and quaternary structure. Differentiating between the three. So, uh, primary structure gives us what? You all right, Lance? No, I'm sure the <laughs> <laughs> You guys look like uh, uh, you know you just came back from Vietnam. <laughs> and then you know, the, the last battle hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> um, Is the sequence so. of amino acids? <laughs> Uh, sequence of amino acids, yeah, the number and the specific sequence of the amino acids, yeah. Okay, so I'm going write, to write this stuff out. Um, so the secondary uh, uh, structure? Is the alpha helix, beta pleated sheets, mm -hmm. and that's formed by the each yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so. I think, oh, okay, good. Primary structure. Um, uh, this is also sometimes, I think, uh, a one degree structure. Um, I, I may be confused about that. This is what you see. Um, uh, so, from here, we're getting uh, uh, the uh, exact number and location of amino acids in the peptide, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, secondary structure. This is, does it contain 
Hmm. Alpha helices. Benzene sheets. Okay. Remember, we're going to be those. Alpha helices. Alpha helices. Uh, uh, that's just it has multiple, uh, multiple of them, but yeah, alpha helices. Mm -hmm. um, then, uh, the tertiary structure it gives us what information. Um, it's folded the protein into a compact 3D shape. Stabilize the interaction between side R groups of amino acids. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, I mean, I, I go over this all on the, um, uh, in the lecture notes. Um, but yeah, so you're looking at the three dimensional shape of a subunit of the protein. Okay? Um, and you're going to look at things that hold it together, the interactions, and stuff like that. Okay? Um, finally, uh, so how about this? Hand sired, so get. From lecture notes. And then finally, ordinary structure is what? That's the two or more protein units that end up in like four quadrants. Keep those easy to use. Yeah. How different, uh, you know, how the subunits of the protein fit together to make the whole working protein. Okay. Does that make sense? But I think we talked about denaturing things. We can do that with what? Heat. Heat or an organic right. compound that breaks the protein. Yes. Okay. How are you going to do it? All right. Ish. Um, the reactions and stuff, are we going to, like, I can recognize them, but I can't necessarily just like, do them. Oh, and our homework had some problems. Um, but it was like. Uh, I just want to be able to recognize them. Okay, perfect. And um, use the multiple choice, no problem. Okay. Um, I can't I can't preclude a sure you problem on it, but. Um, it's, uh, you're, uh, I mean, if we have like, like in our homework, it was like. Do the it's usually like a fissure structure somewhere and else in the chapter, the and then it's like, what's the do the reaction of this and the molecular structure form? Mm. I can't mm. get from the fissure structure to the molecular structure. Yeah, the um, uh, there may be some fissure structures in there. That's what we're going to want to talk about, like uh, uh, carbohydrates, stuff like that. But, right. uh, but actually, a reaction with fissure structures. Um, I can't envision that right off the top of my head. Okay. And it, like, I get all the different structures and stuff, but I can't convert yeah. from one structure to another structure. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just like, what's yeah. uh, so that would be a more typical show your work portion. Can you show your work portion? I think it's going to be more um, 